Mas não quero que o Nacle e Vê que contribui o TVOP Voice of the Bay e Camalam go Percy M. Lamani. Contribui o TU e a Nam Tange Sautjonga e me belica ela com o Bacalogo se na Wama Pela Mabini e Defenders of the People DOP e me lhe que Ingo Kelly um chegazo tukela Zemani com a pena e um chegazo se anda com a Mayana e no suco a pauta ela le good party sa que se chonga que me que imbinga paga a ti com lá o lo the collision apakumas pala tomba kamandela umhlaka zomphumelelo bond nyoka kunye nathi naye ngomhlaluki wethu wezomthetho naye ke sawuthi imicimbi licela ngakumla ngakumbi ichaphazela i office ka public protector kanti ke kwakhona sijonge nemiba echaphazela lowo befudula ingusodolophi pha etswane yasineka ke kwakho noluvolo wakhe kudle wanondlebe lwethu Pagati kwa kumshaga zutuke lozuma ni kwa kina yeye umshaga zosi anda kama yana gola ulo kumaspala tumbat kama Mandela msa lake sanga sio vingli ni kusbu ya vingli ni kusbu ya ningo kile. Goskwa kona si pide sabu ya evengleni. Tichuluka lukundati sabu ba kunyana zingo kile ezimbine suka pagu mi boto. Abanye bathi mincinci kodwa ifuthe lawo lelo ngathithekiyo eh ebungeni kumasipala tombaxa umhlekazi utukele ozomani usuka kumbutho i Defenders of the People kanti kena yo umhlekazi usiyanda kamayana inkokheli naye kumbutho we good party singokheli sena umkela kwi inqobo yethu ngo sibu best thank you for having us umhlekazi somayana masikho amkele nawe no no thank you very much and the police will be was it all Ukolumendo, ukolumendo, alukoyo na lapo ni sebenti sana kona nambuto wa Democratic Alliance, mchega zomaya na kwa kina mchega zio tukelo zomani, kumaspala tumba kwa kamandela, nako itaisha lide kwa ba ke ningene kunyako peli leyo. Ni sebenz sala nombo tuwe Democratic Alliance. Ngakimsha bi uskobi se uzoti kango ku ngen sebenz swa namsha kazi maya. Well, look, the the coalition arrangement started in September on the twenty first of twenty twenty two. And uh, I must say, ever since uh, this this formation, uh, you know, took over, there has been a number of achievements uh, that we've achieved uh, this as this government. Hmm. You would you would know that uh, we've had uh, challenges of uh, potholes, many potholes uh, across the uh, bay, across the Nelson Mandela Metro. Uh, that uh, were never fixed, you know, and you would have issues of, of the robots, uh, you would have, uh, you know, issues around the, you know, infrastructure and all. And I must say, we have managed to sort out quite a significant number you know, of, of all those issues that we have had. And I must also add that uh, we still uh, need to do more. And uh, in terms of the, you know, the, the relations, you know, that exist amongst ourselves, you, you need to understand that uh, we are different parties, you know, that have different mandates, therefore, in fact, maybe I should mention before I continue that this this arrangement in the Nelson Mandela Metro is a very unique one. It has never existed in the entire country in the history of South Africa. You know, currently we are the only coalition that is that is a called a ten-party uh, coalition. Therefore, you need to understand that it will come with its own challenges. Mm. But I must say that uh, we are managing very well, even though we do have, I must emphasize that uh, we, we are not perfect. 
we do have challenges, but you know, I think we were managing, we're managing. So according to you, mm. this collusion, this arrangement mm. is working? Look, the, the, the arrangement is working. Uh, it is working. However, uh, there have been a number of things that have been said in the media. And I, I, and I believe uh, those things have been distorted. And as I said before, we do have challenges. Just like any arrangement or organization or any formation. But I must say, the arrangement is working. According to good part, the arrangement is working. Yes, the arrangement is working. According to, to, to where we were Can I say so far? Part. Look, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. You know? So it is working. The, so but, but as of today, the, car, the, the arrangement is working. That I must say. Your input on this matter? But basically, who hold men there when the band sell as an abalu? I have been run up in now. Jumbo, Kawami, we say chill. Ours is unique in that it's a ten party coalition. If I get no to a honest team, or can you say polygamous marriage with ten wives? Now that on its own can never be easy. But go bazaars in the CZLA or Glomas Pal, which is to deliver services. We make sure that. All and any differences. Just like, come second just to like, that just second like, just like a polygamist. <laughs> Who is the husband? Well, you you can't run away from the fact that within any coalition there's a dominant. Mm. Uh, so the husband. So the husband in that in that instance would be a the, the DA in so, its dominance over. So the, uh, so uh, so uh, you are the wives. <laughs> Perhaps you, e, 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 NLH is, is taking a different form. The reality is that we are in a relationship of 10 different parties. Uh, and the complexities of having 10 different people who have to agree on issues is what I was trying to bring to your attention. Now, nevertheless, um, we know in the illegal way of which is to deliver services. So all and any um, uh, differences come second to that. And I think that's why Kwame City, the coalition is working. It's working because we have set ourselves a mandate that says each and every problem will be resolved by focusing on what it is needed to do to deliver services. Let's talk about equality amongst yourselves uh, in this, in this uh, collusion. Do you treat each other fairly? Well, ooh, the word fair is, is subjective. And the city fair according to what I want, it might not be the same fair as according to what the other counterpart wants. That's why we have to emphasize in Doma, investi is service deliver. Then it becomes easy to say what is fair and what is not. There are disagreements. Um, there are uh, points at which we, we, we don't uh, see eye to eye. Nevertheless, uh, once the discussion is centered around what needs to happen in order to deliver services, it becomes that much easier to, to deal with. If, for instance, there was over the, the past week or so, uh, a lot of lot being said in the media about a disagreement that is currently taking form or has taken form within the coalition, uh, where it was agreed in council that we need to appoint with the greatest of agency, uh, the ED for infrastructure and engineering, uh, and the COO. And I raised those issues in council because we are discussing our the response to the current drought situation. And my uh, stance in council was that we can't begin to say this is a, a solution or we want to mitigate against the drought without having those two positions. Because infrastructure engineering speaks directly to water. But because the, the, the problem of a drought is transversal, it, it needs all the, the, the departments to be able to, to work as, as one to, 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 to tackle the challenge. It therefore means you need a coordinator. And the COO's, COO's office is exactly that, a coordinator for the entire ministry. Mm. Now, there were different views as to how this should be done. 
the appointment of these two uh, uh, office bearers. There was never a disagreement that we need to have somebody responsible for the work. There was never a disagreement that we need to have somebody coordinating the efforts throughout the, uh, the, 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 the institution. That is, 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 is fair. The only uh, disagreement or points at which you couldn't necessarily find each other again like Aisha was to say how are we going to appoint. And ever since that council meeting where that, that decision was taken, we have been continuously engaging amongst each other to make sure that this happens and it happens with the agency it deserves. So what was the position before the council? Your your position as collision partners uh, 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 into this matter? No, no. Everyone knows that all critical vacancies have to be filled. You agreed on that? That's a, that's, a, that's a, a institutional, so just a, a coalition a, a position. The, the institution itself knows that in order for you have a, to have a well-oiled machine, a well-working machine, all critical vacancies need mm. to be filled. That's one. Now, these two become even more critical, critical because of the drought. Yeah. So that has always been an arrangement as well. But it was brought to the attention of council, stemming from a discussion of a pledge that we had just signed as all the councillors, within which, or a pledge that is attached to an action plan to, of things that need to be done uh, in order to, to, to save us from day zero where the taps are running dry. But, but, and but, the, <laughs> The point is that I want you to to, 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 to to talk about, because I'm concerned about your anger around this matter. Uh, 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 on last week's council meeting, you, 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 you were so angry about the, about the advertisement. Why? No, no, perhaps, Masiti, I was passionate. Angry is, is a bit of a, a strong word, uh, but uh, the comments that were made, comments that were made by all the parties, to the fact that those positions had been re-advertised. Okay, let's put a pause for now. We will go for a commercial ad break and continue with this discussion. We look at corners, Nam Kela Quinto, we to EVOB voice of the base, Sekunya Nazinko Kili, Mkegazi, Osi and Mayana, where good body Kokinae, Mkegazi, or Tukela Zomani, where defenders of the people's Nam Kele Guako, Zinko Kili, Senam Kela. We look at corners of the base. They are called the dogba, Mandisniki Tuba, Logoba. Can you make a long dream be where the vacancies and go back a gum dream be lona a powder guy in the old Baku, Ko, Ukunga Bonani, Gasoni, a Gengel and Chambo, and second guy, and Kerazi, Utukelo Zoman, and Kerazomaya. Got a Yabaduki to Bakoba seeing everything, Lenny, or Sal, Beggar Lom Lombana. Go see and go see Pupis. There were HR processes undertaken to fill these two vacancies. Those HR processes progressed to the extent where the reports were ready to be tabled before council for consideration of recommendation A or B or C, as is the case with all Section 56 employees. Mm. At which point the mayor um, through um, the advice of the, the, the corporate services department, withdrew those items because there were new legislations that had been recently passed that may affect how these appointments need to be treated, mm. which is why the, the appointments were, were never made. After having interrogated the effect of those new legislations, it was then confirmed by the city manager in a council full of 120 councillors that, in fact, those, that legislation does not warrant those HR processes to be stopped and redone, which then left council with two minds. Those who still believe that the legislation gives effect to the stopping of those HR processes, and those who take the advice of the city manager 
in advice that was not challenged in that council meeting. Hmm. Those who take that advice and are calling for those reports to be brought to council. That is the disjuncture that led to what you call uh, anger, what I describe as passion. The passion is, stems from the fact that we all agree that those critical vacancies need to be filled and they need to be filled immediately. Mm. We all agree that there are processes that allow us to fill these uh, cr uh, critical vacancies immediately. What we don't agree on is uh, whether <coughs> the new legislation temper, tempers with uh, 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 that, that those processes. However, we have sought advice from the city manager in council, who then agreed with that sentiment that says these appointments must continue. Hmm. That was the discharge. But we then made a resolution in council saying that those items, those two reports, must come to council within seven days from that council meeting to be considered. That does not necessarily mean the appointments will be made, but the information will be before council and council can debate and come to a resolution on those items. Mm. That's what the, the resolution taken in that council meeting says. The, the so-called anger or passion comes from that council resolution not being implemented. Mm. The council meeting was not called in seven days, and those reports are still not before council. However, we have been engaging continuously since that council meeting up to, to this morning, as a matter of fact. Where does the mayor features uh, in this? The mayor is responsible for bringing council items to council. Any item that comes to the to, to council is brought by the mayor, either through the report of the mayor or brought by the city manager through the report of the city manager. Those of the city manager are simply administrative. And, and, and these two items, these two reports must be brought by the mayor. No one else has the authority mm. to table these. So if at all we are not getting those reports in council, it means the mayor is refusing to take them to council. Now, it becomes our responsibility to engage the mayor and find out what are his reservations with bringing this, these reports to council. So the, the disagreement with the mayor, where does it come from? The mayor uh, or, or the DA caucus is of the view that those legislations that have been passed that, that, that change the staff establishment and how we should be treating Section 56 employees, that those legislations have an effect on these HR processes that had already un been undertaken. And for that reason, the DA caucus believed at the time that those two appointments need to go and be re-advertised so that the entire process is started afresh to, to take into account the new legislation. Any addition on this? Yeah, thanks, good case, uh, good case. Uh, look, just just to backtrack uh, a little bit, there was a, a we had a strategic session that took place, I think, earlier uh, or four weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, at the Nelson Mandela Metro, uh, wherein we we had emphasized on the feeling of vacancies amongst other things. So these two vacancies are not the only vacancies that were there. Uh, you know, the information that we got was that there is quite a number of vacancies at the senior level, but critical was five at the level of ET, your infrastructure, your COO, your um, EDTA, your safety and security, and ESRAC. Now, this particular pressure that we are seeing, you know, is, is or they, let me call it the haste, and the passion uh, that my, my colleague uh, you know, has, 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 has had in the, in the previous uh, council meeting. It, it, you know, it was born out of the discussions and the, the action plan that came out of those. Now, the, the vacancies had been advertised. And if you notice, they were also retracted. Now, I want to, I want to also come in 
you know, on the question that you asked, mm. where are the disagreements? Yeah. You must remember that, as Utukela had explained, how critical these two are and uh, the background of these two vacancies wherein we were misled, plainly we were misled, and uh, you know, there, are no, there were no basis for us to not table those particular items. And that information came in the council meeting where he was passionate about uh, the retabling of these matters. Now, there is a, there is a, a, a structure that is called the Coalition Management Committee. It's a political structure. It's a political structure. Mm. It is the highest decision-making body in the Nelson Mandela Metro, where the mayor reports and all the MMCs. Now, the, the, the CMC took a decision to say, let us adopt the, uh, the, the plan of action mm. that was born out of the strategic session that took place in the Nelson Mandela Metro. Now, part of it was that because of the crisis that we were faced with in the Nelson Mandela Metro, mm. you must remember that he talked about the pledge that the council has signed. Now, there was a pledge with DWS, and also a national treasury has been putting pressure to say that if you are unable to deliver on the deadlines that have been given to you, what you are going to do, we are going, there will be consequences. And when National Treasury talks about consequences, they talk about uh, withholding grants. Now, in the metro previously, grants have been withheld. Mm. Some of us might not have been uh, in the system at the time, but we know we read the papers and we have been active political. We know what consequences you know, came out of that. Now, we are saying, let us go on the basis of crisis and on the basis of the commitments that were made through DWC and National Treasurer, let us go and appoint these people. Now, the, the CMC took a, a, there was a meeting that took place, I think two weeks ago. This meeting took a decision just after the council meeting that let's discuss the matter because we had opposing views, views on it. Let's discuss the matter. If we're unable to finish it on this particular meeting, let's put it in abeyance, and then we are going to discuss it in the next uh, CMC meeting. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but there was an article that was making rounds in one of the local papers, mm. where in uh, conversations of the robust engagements in the group of the CMC were screenshot, yes, and uh, you know they were they were uh, distributed around, and the newspapers uh, had quoted us, you know, uh, based on those, wherein uh, it was said that the parties, uh, smaller parties, are rocking the boat. When it was symbol, we had said, let's take the matter to the next council meeting so that we we, we engage on it. Sabaleka kwa kosiye ngase vengleni sibo yake se stolas pokumbela umba opambi lika kuluk change o chongi wayo ngakumbi kumakela alau layo kumaspada tika mande. Smu yuka kona sinamkela kwa la pakuin kwa yitu is the OB voice of the bay. Mkikazo mayana, pangu basi ya nga sivu inglini, ulandi ili kake elibali lengesho, nezi tuba zikoyo, zip angeli ndo kwa kubeki ya nchukua no kakulu kakulu kumakela laula yo kumaspalati ombata. Kwa na kikia pauleka indi yoko kwa oye na mtu main character around this issue. Uh, is the Democratic Alliance, especially the mayor. Welcome back, Zinkoke. Spoil of a coin, spoil. The number one year in Dabasoba, who so Dolopu is rolling or is leading you and the municipality with an iron fist. Amazwa manjalo atetega putbezi kwa kunga viwana. 
Yes, the mayor is a very strong character, uh, but nevertheless, any decision that has to be taken at a co uh, political management uh, is level. he strong or disciplined? Well, I, I choose not to separate the two. Strong and disciplined are both qualities that you will require of a mayor. Uh, I wouldn't want to be led by a mayor that's not strong. I wouldn't want to be led by a mayor that is not disciplined. Mm. But the fact remains that each and every critical decision is taken or is born out of robust engagements. Now, those robust engagements that we were having both at the meetings and in the WhatsApp groups just so happened to be linked and packaged in such a way uh, that only uh, um, the, the, you know, uh, the frustration of the smaller parties can be seen. Whereas the smaller parties were not just frustrated in that conference, but they were actually putting forward valid arguments as to why uh, this issue should be handled in a particular way and not in, a, in another way. Mr. Mayor, is he a bully? <laughs> Executive Mayor Tiff Odenda, does nope. he bully you? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I would want to really move away from the word uh, uh, bully. Uh, however, there have been instances uh, where we we had discomforts in some of the decisions mm. uh, that the mayor has either refused to take or have taken outside of the mandate uh, of the CMC. And uh, look, the the <laughs> the the CMC, you know, is is the highest decision taking vote. So any decision that is, is taken outside would, would obviously create, you know, a discomfort. And uh, I, I really want to move away from, from calling the mayor, a, you know, a, a bully. But we have a, dis a disagreement. Are you being undermined as smaller parties uh, within this arrangement of governing? this municipality in terms of decision uh, and processing the decisions uh, do you take part uh, in that process of taking decisions or you are being sidelined or undermined uh, sometimes look as I said there have been inst instances where we felt undermined not only some of us, but the entire, uh, you know, uh, a group of, let, let me call it a block, because there's, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an arrangement out there within the coalition where we grouped ourselves and we called ourselves uh, a block of smaller parties. Mm. And uh, we have had discomforts, uh, you know, around some of the, of the decisions. Of being undermined. Yes, of course. And uh, we, I think we have we have written to the mayor a number of times, and uh, we have also, you know, packaged a document wherein we have listed a number of resolutions that the mayor, you know, they ought to carry on behalf of the CMC. Uh, but uh, we feel, you know. There is no, you know, uh, energy or keenness to actually carry those decisions. Mm. You know, hence we are going to see that comrades are frustrated sometimes. Otherwise, I wouldn't really say that uh, we are being bullied. But yes, there have been uh, instances of discomfort, you know, uh, with the decisions uh, that the mayor do you share the same sentiment with him? Absolutely. Uh, that word undermined, I believe uh, it was Dobbs of the DOP who was being quoted. Um, it stems from the fact that there was an agreement that we need to do more in discussing how to go forward with these uh, appointments. And yet, a day after we had made that agreement to say we need to engage further, we then saw in the newspaper the re-advertisement of these uh, vacancies. Mm. So undermined in that, in that instance meant exactly that, that there's an arrangement for us to carry on engaging on this matter, and yet the mayor through the administration or her, either 
uh, uh, unwittingly or uh, uh, mischievously has now uh, uh, issued the advertisement. And you would have noticed that a day later, those advertisements were withdrawn. So it therefore means the undermining was then resolved. And that is going to be something you see continuously in uh, uh, the polymic, polygamous uh, uh, marriage. It's not going to end, but mm. the reality is that we are uh, putting in place measures to make sure that we call each other out. Uh, in fact, we have those measures. It just so happens that some of them were leaked to, to the media for whatever reason. Mm. But uh, it's not anything new. We, we disagree on many issues. Uh, we come together and discuss and engage on them. By the time we get to council, we are on, on one page. Guys, thank you very much for explaining to us uh, 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 this issue of vacancies uh, in the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality. Uh, it's very important to hear the story from the horse's mouth. Just before we conclude, there are some rumors that you have been targeted to be a next mayor. Uh, do you know anything about that? Um, in as far as rumors go, uh, I'm, a, I'm a public representative. I am uh, not supposed to be entertaining rumors. What I can say is that there's been no... Are there any engagements or discussions? That, that's the question I wanted to address. There have been no engagements uh, or, or discussions around that. If there were to be any discussions, they would obviously have to be at a party to party level, which therefore means I myself may not even be involved. Where in do you discussions. account to? To the party. Which party? The DOP. I account to the DOP. That's why I, I, you, you introduced me as. When did you last speak to Mr. Mpashele, the president of your party? Yo, I don't know when last I spoke to him, but we, we, uh, we correspond very often. Uh, correspondence. Are you in good terms with your party? If you're asking if I'm in good terms with Rufus and Pashe, I said no. If you're asking if I'm in good terms with the party, then absolutely yes. Are you in good terms with the provincial structure of your party? I, I'm not sure what you are referring to as a provincial structure. Because if you would recall, the DOP exists in 10 regions. Here okay. in the last Mandela Bay, when did you last? Region. When did you last? speak to Mr. Manyat. Let me tell you what has been happening in the party. We had a meeting the weekend before last in Joburg of all the regional leaders. Wherein we had Was been, Mr. Manyat part of that meeting? Mr. Manyat has never been a regional leader of the Nelson Mandela. But he is the, claiming to be. Well, we can all claim. I could claim to be the president of South Africa right now. It does not make me the president of South Africa. The, the meeting uh, uh, observed all legitimate regional leaders. Was Mr. Mpachel a part of that meeting? Uh, the meeting observed all legitimate regional leaders of the DOP. So the president it, was... He's not a regional leader, he's the president. No, 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 no. To honor the national no, meeting... He was, he was not. He was not in did the you, meeting. Did you invite him? No, he was not invited. Are there any parallel structures within your organization? Yeah, absolutely no parallel structures. One of the resolutions taken by that meeting was exactly the, the continuous engagement with, uh, with uh, the so-called national leadership to bring an end to the qualms that... Uh, so uh, both that of you, are you still comfortable with this uh, government? Absolutely. Look, we... we, we are, are there any intentions of living in join the African National Congress. Look, they the, the, the have been, uh, you know, attempts uh, by the African National Congress to try and reach out uh, to ourselves uh, to see if there are any prospects hmm. of forming a new government. So are you interested Look, in forming a new government? Look, it, for now, that is something that uh, we would need to go back and, and discuss. Otherwise, so we are still processing that. Look, as I, as we said before, we are still comfortable where we are. You so know? you are going nowhere now. For now, there is no decision for us to move. Guys, thank you very much for making time. And Koska Kulu, Kedaz Bukelo Zomani, Kedaz Mayan, Sebule, and Kosinka Koska Kulu. Masishia, Posmalega Sepakum shall do it to Kedazi, Umpomelelo, Bontinyoga, Jeff and Govinki.
Tumiruka kona sinamke la kuin kubuye tu VOB Voice of the Bay Gantia ngalweli tuba Samke la omkikazi umpumele loponti nyoka Masuko mke la mkikazi uponyaka Mandibuli sanam kechu iso kumakapa Family TV, family TV, good evening Nkoska kodo siya kwa mke la Mkikazi uponyoka singa Shiyonga magtaesha Kuchanje kupaule kili dogba Loob ambileyo acting public protector Mekdaleka Paule kili dogba Kimi kimbi yokchola uka president Malunga neomba wa sepala pala Yena kwe la kikala Ngo kwe upando loake Uti u president laka mboni Pule mteta ukulomba wa sepala pala Okay, uh, Carla, by way of introduction, there are institutions that are investigating this matter, about eight or nine. Leia Kate, a public protector. Uh, on section 96, to Leia Kuyoyen, Uti, a public representative must not engage in paid work, number mm -hmm. one. Number two, a public representative, a representative must not put himself or herself in a situation where there's a risk of a conflict between his or her public duties and private interests. Number three, last one, it is a information to share with others or to, to derive benefit from that. Mm. <clears throat> that is the scope of a work general, not what the SARS is doing or the police are doing, etc. That was her, her scope. In short, his summary was that the president was not involved in paid work because a paid work is like a person, a relationship between an employer and employee. He was not that. So her approach was very narrow. And number two, regarding the situation which might arise that may cause a risk of conflict of interest, relating to the burglar, a palapala, he's reporting to the nearest official, a presidential protection unit. He, he did his duty by reporting and is blaming others, the rest of the police uni, uh, force, like the PPS and others, in not taking this matter further by ensuring that it's reported to case number, etc. They went on their own frolic, so to speak, by chasing people and going to Namibia. <clears throat> so the public protest is blaming those people, not the president. He, he did his part. That is, uh, so it was not a situation where he put himself in a situation where his 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 his, his, his public uh, duties conflicted with his private interests. Mm. Those are the three uh, two basically. Where I differ with the public protector is the first one of of not conducting paid work, because the owner of Palapala. Is the is the trust called Shivasa Trust, a family trust where the president is a member. The operating unit of the operating unit of the operating unit of Palapala is that Tsabanyoni CC, where the president is the sole member, only member interest. Utgenake is not getting any salary or payment. The only thing any relationship between Yena and that CC is being repaid for a loan that he advanced to it. Yeah, well. mm. The difference between the Section 89 inquiry and the, the public protest is that the public protest is attaching a narrow interpretation to paid work, whilst the Section 89 one is approaching a wider interpretation. I agree with the Section 89 uh, uh, panel by having an, a, a wider interpretation because we must look at what is the purpose of that, of that prohibition for local, for provincial and national leadership, especially cabinet members and, and deputy ministers, is to ensure that your official duties do not conflict with private interests. Let us leave all these niceties and look at what was said before the ANC conference in Nipopo 
without political advice or legal advice, the president said to the delegates, I am a farmer. I am farming game. I'm farming cattle. I'm in the business of buying a settle. Some of you are my customers to the applause and clapping of the delegates. That was a smoking gun that indicates that he gets a direct benefit. He's getting paid for that, even though, even though as, not as a salaried employee. Come now 2019, when he got a call from the uh, manager of the lodge, Mr. Von Velling, I can't pronounce his name, mm. to say there, is, there are some buffaloes of substandard. And he called the president when he was somewhere, I don't know, in Africa or whatever. Then the president, don't worry, there are buyers in the Middle East who can buy that. If we are not involved, how did it come about that you are, you are to get information that there are buyers in the Middle East, Middle East has got money, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates. How did it come about that the information went to him that we want to buy some buffaloes? So there was some interaction. That if there is someone who is doing daily operations yeah. at Palapal. Yeah. How you tell a manager, no, don't worry, there is there are buyers, there's a buyer in the Middle East. When we are in office, as the Section 89 uh, inquiry said, when you're in office, public office space, forget about your business interests because we want your undivided attention as the president. If you're in business, you can double care in politics, but not as a president. The Constitutional Court, in the case of the EFF, as the Speaker of 2016, described the president glowingly as the person who is the 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 the, the, the design our constitutional the epitome of our constitutional design the command the quintessential commander in chief of state affairs mm. you know the the person that has got the highest standard to observe there should not be a situation even if you know you are not going to be influenced but don't entertain that for instance I'm making an example of the person who interacted with the president, or even those delegates in Limpombo. Let's say someone is listening there and say, Mr. President, there's a consortium that wants game because they're there in the Middle East, there are camels there. Can you facilitate that? He will say, talk to my manager. Because he put himself in that situation. Even if you were to swear that person and say, no, I'm not involved in that. You understand? Mm. But you've put yourself in that situation. Disengage so that there's no conflict. Because we want your 100% attention. You see, the conflict of interest in that 191 page, page report of the public product. He said, not every conflict of interest is corrupt or improper. It can be managed. I beg to differ again. There is conflict of interest, conflict of interest, whether it's by 10% or 90%. There should, the issue is there should be no conflict of interest. You must look at this thing two ways. Mm, mm. The first one is there must be a situation where you put there's a risk number two of a conflict of interest. It's three parts. The public are concentrate only on the conflict of interest. You must look at this conjunctively, that is together as one, not disjunctively separating it. Mm -hmm. Leave the situation, leave the risk and just concentrate on conflict of interest. That was selective thinking with due respect. Mm. We understand this. But let's leave all those legal debates and listen to what he said. I am a farmer and I buy and sell cattle. Ask a 10 year old in your street what does that mean? It means the person says he's the business of, of, of farming. That you are not getting an income, person. Even if it's for 24 months, does not mean that you are not in business. Mm. The thing will be that it's not going well, but something will break and then you make it. If someone comes with 560,000 US dollars on Christmas day, purpose, mm. and speak not to the game lodge manager, speak to a town lodge manager without appointment, how can you trust someone that you, didn't, you just meet? Some, that person must have said, no, this is the inform of the president. You can leave this four million or eight million with me. 
It's incredible. You come all the way from Sudan on Christmas Day. You give your four five hundred sixty US dollars. Does it make sense? You don't get a Just before result. we go for a commercial okay. break, Mr. Nyoka. What was the purpose of making that declaration uh, by the president? A declaration whereby he stated that he's a businessman as much as he's the president. The president, that's why I'm saying that he was not advised politically. He never made that statement afterwards. Let's that was a there. blunder Let's on his leave part. It there. We'll talk more after okay. the commercial ad break. Let's go for a commercial ad break. Voice of the Bay. This is our last segment with Mr. Mpumelelo Bond Nyoka. Once again, good evening, sir. Good evening, please. Just before we go for a commercial ad break, you were talking about the political advice. Uh, the political advice. As soon as uh, Arthur Fraser made those uh, disclosures that delayed the charge, the president responded directly, responded through the Limpopo conference, where he said, I'm a farmer. I'm in the business of game and cattle, and I buy and sell. He was responding directly. I'm saying it was ill-advised, because if someone said, this is going to put you in a bush, in a corner, as if we are, we are, we are getting something out of this. Because he never said that before. I also held my breath when he said so. If you can recall, he never said that during a press conference after addressing parliament. Nowhere did he say it. But having said all that, okay, the, 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 there is a distinction between declaring gifts as a member of parliament, including the president. Let's say you get a ship, you get sheep, you get cattle like the uh, former president called cattle from Super Mahan Mapel. Gifts, you must declare. But a continuous thing like a business is different from gifts. We must make a distinction about that. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So, but having said that, in conclusion, both sides are in the wrong here. The people that made complaints, the, the complaints are largely hearsay evidence. Arthur Fraser got information from someone who never testified. In terms of the rules of evidence, rules, hearsay evidence is, only, is not admissible except if the other party who is the object of that hearsay evidence agrees to it to be admissible. Number two, uh, the, the person testifies. He never testified before, uh, acting public prosecutor, a uh, public protector, the one who gave Atta Fraser this, this information. Lastly, I accept this in the interest of justice. So we're relying on something that is hearsay from someone who never testified and for, for, for press reports. And the case was being built as they went along for, for statements that were made by the president or the presidency. Mm -hmm. So really, there's a weakness on that side. There's also weakness on the side of the president, as I said, you can't just say uh, someone comes to 560, you entertain him, he's entertained by a town lodge manager who's not even in game, mm. doesn't even receipt, it's not reported to the police, the money stays there until it's stolen. The manage, game manager who was on leave was never phoned, he could have phoned the president, this guy, the, the town lodge manager, say, there's a Sudanese chap, Mr. President, or game manager who just deposited it to me, 560. It's so important. It's not like five rand or 500 rands. So all those things were not done. Even those, uh, the PPS or the police, protection police who were chasing those people, surely they should have told the press or should have phoned. What happened about that thing, uh, uh, Mr. Hode, General Hode? What happened to it? Nothing. It was just quiet. Mm. Strange. So both sides of witnesses, all I'm saying is that, we don't need this drama. Let's put it to rest now. But if I was the president, never mind what the AFF or ATM is doing, if I was the president, whatever they say or do, I would say, this is ravaging the soul of my nation. Let me step aside and deal with it without admissions, deal with it outside as a president. We need the president without being tarnished by Palapal. That is what I would do. He has got a legal background. I'm saying his conscience as a lawyer should talk to him and say, regardless of the vested interests of the people around me, surrounding me, or around me, who propelled me to be in the second term, let me do the honorable thing as Cyril Matamele, 
Ramaphosa and let's just resign. Let's leave it there. Let's look Thank at you. the insolvency of Tswane former mayor, Mr. Morunwa Makwarel. Okay, section, 40, section 47 2 read with section 158 of the Constitution regarding the three spheres of government, local, provincial, or national, uh, has got five prohibitions. Five prohibitions for a person to be a member. Number one, if you are in the public servant, you are earning a remuneration, you can be in those three local, provincial, or national. Number two, if you are not of unsound mind and yet declared by a court order that you, that you are of unsound mind, you cannot be any of those. Number three, if you are a, in unrehabilitated insolvent, in other words, you are sequestrated. That is, uh, sequestration says that you, your debts are more than your, your assets. So you go through the sequestration process. But if you come out of that, your finances are stable. You become an, a rehabilitated insolvent. Before you, you, in other words, there's a court order that is given that this person must be under sequestration and then the person gets protected from being hounded by creditors. That's the fourth one. But I'm going to come back to that. Then the last one is where you've got a criminal record. If you've been convicted and sentenced to 12 months without the option of a fine, you cannot be any of those things unless you, unless five years expires, then you are given a chance. The reason for all this is that it's the principle of saying you make a mistake or you, you, you get into financial trouble, but once you've corrected that, you're given a chance also to be there. Mm. Now let's come, that's just the background. Let's come to this one. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mac Dr. Makwalela, Makwalela, old uh, homeowners association in the <coughs> complex of mine, he could not pay it. Then they took him for sequestration, he was sequestration. There's an application to court that is made that this person is under sequestration. So you cannot manage your own affairs now. Once you come out of that, you apply, the, the, the person that applied for sequestration applies for you to be rehabilitated now through the court order. You see, you get a court order. So once you've settled everything, to get an order from the court, the same way the court ordered you to be under demonstration that this person is rehabilitated, then you can be a member of parliament. With him, he was still under rehabilitation, he was still sequestrated. He did say that in 2021 to his party that I'm under, I'm, I'm under uh, sequestration. But in 20, that was 2021. Ne? But in 20, 2018, he was, he was still under sequestration. Eh? But now he brings with a certificate that says, although he declared to his party that he was under sequestration in 2021, he said he was rehabilitated when in 2018, three years earlier, first the, 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 the order of sequestration has got bad grammar, no court that is not caught, you know. There's nothing, and there's no court order that's written rehabilitation. It doesn't. And the case number is that one of 2018. You get a new case number as 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 time goes by. It's 2022. If so, you, so, so it was a fake certificate. It was a fake certificate. He committed two criminal offenses. Let's look at the punitive measures. Yeah, I'm saying so. he's facing two criminal actions. The first one is when he made a declaration before he became a counselor of saying, I'm not and I'm rehabilitated, you understand? Or failure to disclose that, that he was still sequestrated, he was still uh, insolvent. He lied there, that's perjure, you see? Mm. Or a violation of the Commission of Oath Act, it depends on which of the two. And then recently, last week, publicly, by bringing a false certificate, that's fraud. Fraud is, making a representation to someone that what you are saying is true, whereas it's false. So there's a new case of fraud against him. That one, when he entered the council, and this one, the latest one. Yes. Yeah, because uh, the, the speaker, the, the city manager wrote to the, to, to, to the electoral commission to say there's a vacancy. Then suddenly he produced the certificate when he could not produce it before he was, he, the matter was taken to IEC. So there was something fishy there. But now, the latest news is that he has resigned as the member of the Congress of the People. He has no choice. 
He's, he's fallen on his sword, but still arrogant to say, I did, it's not with an admission of guilt. He should have just resigned and kept quiet because he's in a jam already. He had no choice. If he did not resign, Hope will do the honorable thing of dismissing him. There was a meeting earlier on in the morning. We've I'm got sure, only one minute. I'm Mr. sure Hope told him, resign or dismiss. He had no choice. This is a scandal that is uh, regrettable. Hmm. But it shows one thing. Everyone who goes there to public office, locally, provincial, they must disclose everything, including all the other things that I've mentioned. There are 257 municipalities, as well as provincial, uh, provincial councils and the National Assembly. People must come clean, otherwise they face criminal sanction. Thank you. Earlier on, we spoke about the collision of Nelson Mandela. What is your opinion about the current government in the Nelson Mandela uh, the, the two speakers were very guarded. They were like very diplomatic. Uh, but when people are so, you know, come waters, you expect some explosion. Let's expect some explosion. But now everything is like, no, it's honky dory, etc. Expect explosion. This place is a very it's an entertainment center, this Nelson Mandela metropole. Including the fact that the Mr. Zuman denied that he was going to be mayor. He can be a mayor. Let's he can leave, be a mayor. Let's leave it there. So because the yeah, air like in a volcano of entertainment. <laughs> this is a volcano of entertainment. <laughs> let's leave it there, Mr. Bondinyoga. Thank you very much uh, for making time and your analysis, Clarence. Of course. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Gola shabo nintu be yechuke fikelela esi peloeni gola shabo itamalamu go. SCM Lamani. Must be a small and you can connect with the cells. I could start to have a guess. I thought it's in BS tank of your consent BS pose. Or the gating and gum so quick. Obella FM 97.0 between six and nine in the evening. Was to go Benzol. Adios, amigos. God bless.